What's up everybody, welcome to Northeast Kayak Fishing TV. Today's gonna to be a quick, short video on how I organize my fishing tackle and fishing gear uh, to make it easier for when you're gonna travel on the road to a tournament or say a camping trip with the buddy. So let's just get into it, how I, I store stuff. Uh, all my soft plastics, I store in like shoebox style um, sterilite containers. Uh, like this one has frogs. You can see I label them. Uh, we got swim baits, craws, tubes, finesse worms, etc., etc. Um, that way, there, if I'm going to a certain spot where I know a certain color uh, or I think a certain color is going to work better or a certain style is going to work better. I can just go to that tote, grab it, and then what I do is I pack it all in to a, a larger tote here. Uh, it, obviously it's empty right now, I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I just take what I need and put it in here. Um, I'm not gonna take all the craws or I'm not gonna take all the, the worms or whatever. So, I mean, you take what you want, and put put them in the, all the same tote and I mean this fits nine of these shoe boxes I believe inside of here uh, and that's that's plenty uh, that way there anybody who fishes from kayak knows um, that you can only take so much on the kayak with you so you're gonna fill your vehicle with multitude of things figure out what's gonna work and then you fill your kayak with those types of baits or um, terminal tackle, whatever it is. Terminal tackle, I, I use all my uh, my tungsten weights are in the battle box. My flipping hooks are in the battle box. Um, Nico hooks are in the in the battle box. That way, because the, the things that I'm going to use with a weight, I'll keep the hooks in there. Uh, drop shot, all the drop shot setup stuff is in there. Uh, this so that goes under the seat in my kayak, so I'll just throw some things in there. Take that that goes under the seat. Uh, pegboard here, I keep like obviously it's slim pickings right now. Anybody who's ordering tackle knows that a lot of stuff is out of stock, especially with the uh, Rapala companies. They are um, slim slim pickings on their site. Um, so when you see it in stock, make sure you buy it. Uh, I like to write down the things on here so that I know if I use it all, at least I still know what I'm missing. Um, I also have a spreadsheet that I use in the computer and I like to keep the computer here with in the office with everything. Um, I have a spreadsheet that I use to keep inventory and it calculates and lets me know when I'm running low on certain types of baits um and that is pretty much it guys i mean um you, you store it's if you keep it organized like this when you're going to pack up for a trip it's simple uh i got the extra parts for my pdl uh right here uh, so i know when i need to order new stuff plus i keep parts in the in the pdl itself um the i got like cheap braid that, that I'll use for backing on fluoro. Um, that is pretty much it for, for the baits. Uh, my soft plastics, when I bring them into the, to the kayak, I use the Plano Speed Bag. It seems to be the best option for me. Uh, I tried the Ziploc bag thing. It just begins to be a mess. Um, and that is about it. I'll leave a link for the spreadsheet uh, that I use and you guys can download that link and use it to end, to do your uh, inventory if you want um, and I think that is about it that was just a quick video on how I store my stuff um, in the house to make sure that it's simple easy to pack get it in the in the van and on the road and you'll still forget stuff I mean we all forget stuff but this has definitely helped in the process of not forgetting stuff. 
Uh, so thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.